Hi, I'm Dr. Shazil and today I would like to present you this uh, 70 years old male patient who presented to me with right marked proptosis, um, inferior dystopia that is gradually increasing and now he has hand movement vision, um, his uh, extraocular movements are limited, uh, he is uh, unable to close the eye fully due to severe proptosis there is inferior exposure conjunctivitis and keratitis pupil is mid dilated he is pseudo phacic fundus is visible there are choroidal folds and severe disc edema of the right fundus left eye is normal now he gave me a history of prostatectomy six months back for ca prostate and according to him he was all right for the next two months but then the right eye started to bulge out and now there is marked proptosis exposure keratopathy you can see the inferior dystopia the orbital tumor is more in the superior orbit that's why the eye is in the inferior position there is relative afferent pupil defect in the right eye on fundus examination i found choroidal folds and severe bulged disc edema because the retrobulbar tumor is compressing the eye from behind so i diagnosed him uh, with the uh, right mark proptosis uh, due to mats uh, orbital mats uh, from primary tumor in the prostate uh, most probably i advised him uh, labs um, mr brain orbit uh, gave him artificial tears and ointment for exposure keratopathy and also wrote a referral to oncologist and orbital surgeon but the patient never showed up i hope he is in safe hands right now so that was the case history and now we will discuss the important fundus sign uh, which i found interesting and i thought i should discuss in detail the choroidal folds now here you can see the disc edema and the horizontal lines on the fundus. So you can see these horizontal or parallel stri or lines of dark and light color covering the whole macula. These are known as choroidal or chorioretinal folds and they involve the inner choroid, Brooks membrane, retinal pigment epithelium and retina. Now it develops due to any process that causes compressive stress within these layers. Now these compression stress lines are typically horizontal and located at the posterior pole. Vision may be normal, decreased or totally lost depending upon the etiology of the choroidal folds. So now one by one we will discuss the differentials. Now if the rest of the orbital and ocular examination is normal and you incidentally find choroidal folds, it can be idiopathic. Idiopathic choroidal folds are also present uh, and if you check the refractive error and the patient turned out to be hypermetropic, uh, then they can be due to hypermetropic hypermetropia and uh, when the patient is hypermetropic with choroidal folds always check intracranial, intracranial pressure in these patients if intraocular pressure is less than six millimeter the condition is called hypotony and you can find choroidal folds in hypotony maculopathy then there comes the dreadful conditions the retrobulbar tumors or thyroid of thalmopathy you will find decreased vision raised intraocular pressure proptosis along with choroidal lines then if you get t sign on the b scan there is painful scleritis posterior scleritis uh, along with choroidal folds then you have got these lines due to posterior scleritis if the patient has a history of RD surgery and uh, buckle is applied, that's the reason of choroidal folds. If the tumor is in the choroid, you will have a mass, a raised lesion on the fundus um, in the choroid. And 
if there is a papilla edema then it can also cause choroidal folds now the these lines the crest of the fold the elevated part of the fold is yellow and less pigmented as a result of stretching and thinning of the retinal pigment epithelium and trough is darker due to compression of the retinal pigment epithelium OCT is very important it will differentiate between choroidal chorioretinal and retinal folds undulations of the RP and choroid will be present in choroidal folds undulations of the retina RP and choroid in chorioretinal folds and undulations of the retina in retinal fold now here you can see undulations in retina choroid and RP so these are the chorioretinal folds of the OCT so the retinal folds can be due to epiretinal membrane formation so you should differentiate epiretinal membrane structural membranes in on the internal limiting membrane from these chorioretinal undulations so that was all about the choroidal folds thank you very much